Sugar, no flour. <laughs> oh! Uh, woo! Um, Careful, they're hot. I. Ah, whoa, they are. What now? What now? What now? What? What did you eat for breakfast? Not much, just a bowl of candy canes and milk. Oh. <laughs> uh. John, yeah. do you know how much sugar that is? That's a lot! <laughs> yes, it's a lot. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna crash at any minute. What? what? Crash? No, it's Christmas! <laughs> we'll be back in a little while. And we're back. What happened? Did I miss anything? Is it still Christmas? Yes, it's oh, still Christmas. Good, let's play games. All right. All right, 
wait for our first game. Wait, first? So there's gonna be more than one? Multiple. Okay. Okay, here we go. Our first game is Reindeer Ring Toss. Sounds fun. Brandon will be wearing these reindeer antlers and his light up Rudolph nose. Ow. And I will be tossing these inflatable inner tubes and see how long it takes me to get two rings on Brandon. All while Brandon sings that Christmas classic, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. All right, All right here, we go. here we go, here we go. Two rings. You yep, yep, let's right, go. Here we go. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer oh. had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you would even say it. Oh, yes! Blows. I got That's two. Good. Yeah, That's not good. Thank you. All right, my turn. Oh. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. All of the other reindeers used to laugh and call him names. Oh. The Next! The Great Rollathon. Brandon has a roll of paper, and he will see how long it takes him to wrap me while doing a dance from the Nutcracker. Go, go. Hey, that gives me an idea. That did? Next! Welcome to Gift Wrap Run. We will now write down how many layers of gift wrap we think we can run through. Whoever runs through the most successfully wins. But we only write down one number. Right, so you don't want to go too high or too low. Oh, I like it. All right. All right, you ready? Okay. Yeah. Okay, you got one? Yeah, hold on, hold on, don't look. All right, I'm not looking. Okay, okay, uh, okay. All right, here we go, I'll go first. Okay. I wrote down Three. Three? Yeah. <laughs> That's it? Yeah, what? The, the, these layers add up, all right? Okay. So let's do three layers of gift wrap. Jump cut. All right, here I go. You ready? Can give me some space? Yeah, 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 yeah. Here I go! Oh! I did it! <laughs> wow, uh. yeah, you did it. Oh, oh wait, I didn't see. What, what did you pick? How many? Oof. 27? Yeah, you'll not no talk me way. out of it. No, 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 no. Let's set it up. 27. All right. Okay, here we go. Watch and learn. All right, all right. <laughs> it's Bible story time with Kellen. Are you okay? Christmas! Happy Christmas! Christmas greetings! I love Christmas. I do too. I do three. It just makes me want to get up and shout to the world. Uh, Hello world, it's Christmas! Well, that's kind of what happened at the very first Christmas. Oh, oh, yeah, you mean the baby Jesus and all that. <gasps> Spoiler alert! Wait. But yes. Is the Christmas story our Bible story? What a coincidence. Well, I don't know if it's a coincidence. I mean, it actually makes a lot of sense that we would tell the Christmas story at Christmas. Well, then take it away. Our story begins in the book of Luke. There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby. It was in the middle of the night and... Bonkers! That's what it was, Kellen. Bonkers! Whoa, okay, what is happening? Oh, hi, Kellen. Sorry to interrupt. I'm Mildred, the sheep. I was there on the night, you know what I'm saying? Oh, the night. You you were there when, when the... Yeah, 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 I was there. Oh, may I tell this part of the story? Well, you were there, so you might as well. Fantastic. 
mistake. So there I was with all my other sheep and our shepherds. And then all of a sudden, bam, out of nowhere, this bright light. And we're all like, bah, bah, bah. and the shepherds were all like, ah, ah, ah. and then we were like, bah, bah, bah. so you were terrified. Yeah. But then the angel says, do not be afraid. And I'm like, yeah, easy for you to say. That's right. The angel appeared to the shepherds and said, do not be afraid. I bring you good news. It will bring great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. That's right. That is what they said. How'd you know that? You a shepherd, Kellen? Oh, no. Somebody wrote it down in a book called Luke. It's in the Bible. Never heard of it. Yeah, well, it wasn't written yet. You know, why don't you keep going? Okay, okay. So the angels go on to say that this Savior was the Messiah, the Lord. Yes, and the angels told the shepherds that they could find the baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. That's right. That's right. And then suddenly even more angels appear and they say, <coughs> Me, me, me. May glory be given to God in the highest heaven, and peace be given to those he is pleased with on earth. Then all the shepherds, Joey, Sal, Kevin, all like, let's go to Bethlehem. Sure, okay, see you guys when you get back. I don't know what happened after that. Well, thanks, Mildred. I'll take it from here. The shepherds hurried off and found. I'll tell you what they found. Mary and Joseph and the sweetest little baby. I'm sorry. Who are you? I'm Gregory the Ox. Oh, sure. Of course. Greg the Ox. Gregory. Greg is a child's name. My apologies, Gregory. All is forgiven. Now, how do you know what happened? Oh, right. Well, let me back you up. Mary and Joseph had just gotten to Bethlehem, and there's nowhere to stay. Not a hotel, motel, or Airbnb as far as the eye can see. That's right. They found a place to stay with the animals. Bingo! And guess whose lucky ticket was drawn? Gregory the Ox. Didn't ever think I'd ever have anything exciting happen to me, not in Bethlehem. But there I am watching a baby be born. So the baby was born, and then what happened? Not just any baby, Jesus, the savior of the world. Yes, of course. I didn't understand at the time until those shepherds came running in. Oh boy, were they excited, screaming about, the angels told us, the angels told us. And you should have seen the look on Joseph's face. He was like, oh. Yes, the story said everyone was amazed at what the shepherds had said to them. Oh, yeah. I was amazed, too. I was like, oh. I bet. But then I look over at Mary, and she's just staring at that little baby like she could just get lost in his eyes for all of eternity. I'm telling you, Kellen, it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And I've seen some beautiful things. Have you ever seen the sunrise reveal the first olive blossoms of the season? <laughs> I'm sorry, it was just so beautiful. Well, you're right, Gregory. Luke wrote that Mary kept all these things like a secret treasure in her heart. And then he wrote that the shepherds returned and gave glory and praise to God. And I'm telling you, pretty amazing that God would tell a bunch of ragtag shepherds first, not kings or queens or politicians or someone rich, just a bunch of poor shepherds. It really is amazing. But I guess it makes sense. Those shepherds talk. Don't tell them a secret. <laughs> well, thanks, Gregory. My pleasure. And thanks to you, Mildred. But of course.
course, Kellen. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas, Kellen. I can't believe I'm saying this to you two, but Merry Christmas. <laughs> the end. And that, my friends, is the Christmas story. Love that story. One of the best. It really doesn't get old. It's one of those stories you just have to tell. Yeah, of all the ways for God to introduce the Savior of the world, He gave shepherds a front row seat. Yes. It was a pretty crazy way for God to introduce Jesus into the world. The story of Jesus isn't just for the rich and powerful. The story of Jesus is for everyone. That is some good news. Thanks, Kellen. Yeah, Merry Christmas, buddy. And Merry Christmas to you. I'll see you guys soon. I love that story. Yeah. It just, it makes me just want to shout it from the rooftop. Or, or maybe go tell it on the mountain. Yeah. Well, there are no mountains around here, Brandon. You're right. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, yeah. And we're inside. I got it. No, it makes me want to just... Merry Christmas! Jesus, the Savior of the world, has been right. born, and he's come for everyone! All right, well, that's one way to share the good news, but reveal the question! Ooh. What are ways we can share the good news? With a bullhorn! Or maybe you're like the shepherds and you just tell everyone you know. Or maybe you can share the good news through your actions by showing love to everyone. Maybe you're super creative and you can share the good news through your art. Or maybe you just talk about it with your friends. Yeah, there are so many ways to share the good news. Well, that's all the time we have today. Hey, but have the most wonderful Christmas. Yes. And we'll see you next time on... The So-and-So Show, Show, yeah. Show, 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 Ready? Here we go. Are you sure you want to try this I again? I really want to do this again. Here okay. we go. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Wow, it's like the... Oh. 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 I did it. I did it. That was really only 10. Oh no. <laughs>